Guys, feel free to work it out. I'm gonna read it out. Just read it. It's out. What is wrong with me? Deep in the night, you think everything's right. Tell it to yourself. Say it's just a nightmare. Something is telling you. Nothing can change where you are again. Wow. Why should this game knows it matter? Me. Your dreams of a child. Innocence is gone. Only fear to play with. Faces are changing, but nothing is changing the pain. Too late. Two steps. Oh, what pain? Take. Get in closer and closer. And one. Sends me for the It picked up on the fact that we've been playing it for four hours now. Straight. Over and over it calls to your soul. Say it isn't so. Emptiness surrounds you. No one can help. If the angels refuse to come here. Who's there? Cold faded photos, they lay by your side Something in my room, never mind the reason Visions are lying and reasons just live to survive This time, the cold, the cold, the light the fear returning It's not, it's not the eye, the eye You feel, you feel that's chilling Wow. Yeah, I was about to say, good opportunity. Um... Interesting! Uh, well, I don't, it's definitely a rent, but not a buy. I'm definitely going to be trading this in. I'm not going to be playing it again. No, it's not as scary as I was hoping. It oh, look, the mementos, the ones I collected. Yes, I'll save. <laughs> ah. Well, thanks for viewing. Um, yeah, it was very linear. Like, I mean, the original Silent Hill. I mean, I'm I'm basing it on Silent Hill 2 because that's the only one I've actually played. But even that had a bit of exploration in it. This was exceptionally linear and... Hmm, I did like the idea that it had no boss battles. Like, and, uh, the only... The only monsters that appeared were the ones that were generated from the whole, um, psychiatry treatment. Which, 
was interesting. It was definitely interesting. It, I like that idea. It definitely got you involved. Although I don't feel there was too much point in it in the end. I don't. I. I, I guess you'd have to like play for it several times to really see what your uh, choice is. Change the answers a bit. Yeah, because I I read it up on the guide and it's like uh, when I was coloring the house and in and that. Uh, literally, that was just colors. Uh, Has no impact on the actual story. Yeah, it, it's just a bit of What line. happens if you don't color it in? Uh, the whole thing's black. What? Yeah, your phone's green, by the way. Um. Oh, it's because Doctor Who's about to start. Oh, like fuck it. Five up. minutes. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, thank you very much for viewing. Anyone who has sat through this whole thing, please, uh, like, post your comments down below um, as to what you think about the storyline. What sort of I, I thought the story itself was quite interesting. I like the ending. Yeah, because. Uh, I don't know if you know too much about the st actual storyline of Silent Hill and that sort of idea, but it... What, going off the film? No, no, the film has nothing to do with it. Seriously, a true si uh, Silent, uh, Silent Hill fan would slap me in the face for comparing the films to the games. But, no, the, the, I heard this was a remake of the original. It isn't. It's a play on the original, because the original was about Harry going into the town of Silent Hill and like, all that sort of mumbo jumbo. Finding his daughter. Yeah, and then... Silent Hill 2 doesn't really join onto that storyline, but Silent Hill 3 is about Cheryl, and she's all grown up, and she's involved in all this, and as far as I can tell, correct me if I'm wrong here in the comments, this might not be correct at all, but as far as I can tell, he actually died in the car crash, completely forgot what happened in Silent Hill 1, and then his ghost has been, like, trumbling around 18 years later. No, 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 um, it's all in Cheryl's head, the whole thing, because... Um, that's why you went frozen at the end because she said, "Right, I've got to forget you now, because uh, I've got true. to get on with my life." Okay, so scratch that. Cheryl, after the accident and all of that, dealing with the whole Silent Hill three incident, I presume, went to the psychiatrist and made up all of this in her head. And that's why the psychiatrist is so angry because it is. It's just made up by her, and she's got to get over it herself. Yeah. Well. Mm, anyway. Yeah. Um. If you're looking for a rating on this game, because I know quite a few people that will watch Let's Play is just for like, oh, is this game actually worth it? Rent it. Don't buy it. Is it's my. It's it's worth it for a game, but it's not worth it if you want to do the whole total Silent Hill thing of door locked, can't go there. Let's just do a bit. It of wasn't very puzzling. It wasn't. No, uh, the all the keys were right next to them. It's it was just a like five second look around. It wasn't a particular like it's like the coin puzzle from Silent Hill 2. You had to figure out which coins go where. And you, you had to find. You had to use well. logic, you yeah. know. But this, it just wasn't. It's. And the mementos are pointless. They did nothing apart from reading the box at the end. Yeah, and I I know there's like the UFO ending in that. I've seen that myself. What's that? It's. There's a UFO ending on every Silent Hill game. It, I'll explain that later. It's just, just where it's all to do with aliens. Yeah, there's a good ending, a bad ending, and then it psychologically profiles you. There's uh, and that sort of idea. So yeah. Well, thank you very much for viewing. I really hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Yep. Thanks, guys. Yep. And um, we'll see. Maybe we we can get another Let's Play with Cast in it or something, or maybe another Let's Play some other time. But we'll uh, have a think about it. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go eat. So. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys.